Good evening everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're taking a look at the Greg Tech Industrial Electrolyzer. Uh, this is a uh, machine that is taking over a lot of the recipes from the industrial centrifuge in the more recent versions of Greg Tech. And uh, really it makes a lot of the important recipes that you need for some of the advanced machines. Uh, it's also it, uh, used for silicon cells and a variety of other things as well. There are other ways of making some of these, but uh, this is a pretty nice way of doing it as well. Um, I've also brought back the computer cube for this uh, particular tutorial because there's an important feature to the computer cube. Uh, if you can uh, click on the uh, M, the mode button here, it'll go through the different modes. And the very last mode on the version of Greg Tech that I'm using right now, which is a little bit outdated for what's out there right now, but uh, the basic operation, I believe, is the same. But uh, if you go through the modes, the last mode that I have right now is the electrolyzer recipes. And it has all of the current electrolyzer recipes listed. So that makes a very great way to make sure that you're looking at the most recent recipes available. And what I have is I've got some flint dust and I've got some empty cells. And we're going to put those in here. So the uh, you have this uh, uh, spot right here is where you put your containers. And then you take your material that you want to put through your electro uh, process through the electrolyzer. In this case, we're going to use flint dust. And you just drop it right in the uh, bottom here. And this particular recipe takes 5,000 EU. And it will take up to 128 EU per tick. So uh, basically, it's going to... Uh, you know, Divide 5,000 by 128 and you'll see how long that recipe will take to complete. So this one I chose because it's a fairly quick recipe and uh, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, once this recipe finishes up, it will put uh, the output items in the top four slots here. And we should see that happen in just a moment here. Um, what I've got set up back here is I have one adjustable storage unit that is outputting 128 EU per tick for the um, electrolyzer. And then I have this other one here that's just set to 32 so that it will power the uh, computer cube without blowing that up. Uh, computer cube only takes 32, so got to be a little bit careful there. And you can see that our flint finished up and we got a silicon cell and a compressed air cell. So. I hope this helps you guys out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.